You're ready to go back out, aren't you, sweetie? Hmm? This is one of the red rumps from the first batch of baby, who was looking a little off, and so we brought her in, quarantined her for a few days, gave her some antibiotics, and she's looking good. We're now going to ring her just so we can keep an eye on her. And then we need to quickly wash this cage out for our new bird who's currently sitting in this little box. And you mate. So we'll put her back out in the pheasantasium and then I'll show you the new guy. Or girl, I'm not really sure. So she's a bit tangled up here in this netting because we had to catch her in the bathroom because she got away from us a bit. Here you go, back with your mates. Back with your friends. And off. There you go. All good. Sisters are in here. Bit startled looking at you. Hadn't seen a mirror before, had you? So we've ringed her now so that if she does have any medical conditions, we know which one she was compared to the other two that are in here. Now we'll go clean the cage so we can put the new bird in. So the new temporary home is set. This bird will eventually go into the pheasantasium hopefully. If you're new to the channel, the pheasantasium is my main aviary. If he doesn't go in there, he might go into one of the small aviaries on the side with yellow or something like that. We'll see how he gets along with everybody. Calling him he, but I don't know if it's a he. Now he's already had a couple of names and we haven't even got him out of the box yet. Looks like we're going with Indy. We always get the names from the boxes. Usually from the boxes of which we get the birds. So he was called Babbitt for a while. Which is a wine here in New Zealand. It's got the word individual on the box and that turned into indie. Ooh! Touch me, little indie! You alright, mate? Ow! Yeah, he bites. Oh, drawn blood straight away. Really? That's the one from earlier. No, it's not. That was on that finger. <laughs> Poor little indie. Okay. How you doing, mate? A big hand coming in was all scary for you, wasn't it? Hello. Hmm? Yeah, you're all right, eh? You're all right. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Calm down. There you go. Hello. What are you doing under there? If I stop the camera. So he is our first nectar feeder. This is a Laura Key. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. He looks to be an olive, perhaps crossed with something else, with a rainbow. I'm not sure. Not up on my Laura Key types yet. Something we'll learn in the coming days, no doubt. Very cute. You just let you get used to everything, eh? A little bit. Let your breathing calm down. Oh yeah, what's that? You have to go inside for that. You leave him long enough, he'll pretty climb in there. He used to be in the cage, knows his food in cages. Oh, yeah, what's that out there? Are you used to windows? Don't go flying into that. Hurt your head. It's got his wings clipped, so 
so it's something they've done in the shop to stop them from flying away. We will of course let them grow back. get a new bird you've got to be patient. You let them come to you right to begin with and your life will be much easier. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. Don't act like a lot of heat now, are you? Didn't take long, did it? Very quick. Very quick. You can barely see you move. Okay, that's Pixel. You'll get you well you won't get used to it, but <laughs> he's the noisiest one around here. You can't get to you. You're alright. So this guy's gonna require a little bit more work when it comes to feeding than our other birds, which all basically eat the same thing. This guy needs nectar mix because he has a feathered dung. So he has wet, a wet mixture and a dry mixture. You gonna come over to me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hello, that's it. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your first banana? There's banana in this house anyway. Mm. Make a meal of that bit. I think somebody needs a bigger bowl. Is Indy bathing in his water bowl? We did have a um, one of those ones you clip on the outside. So we tried that with him and he didn't seem to want to go in there. But he clearly wants to bathe. We didn't think he wanted to. Might get him out and put him on the lawn. A big bowl of water. Well, he's got clipped wings and can't fly yet. Let him experience some grass and have some fun. There you go, Lindy. You want a bigger bowl of water, mate? So I've come out here to give some watermelon to the birds in the Pheasantasium. Watermelon has fast become one of Indy's favourites and I've just seen somebody on the ground. Hello sweetie, how are you doing? This is a new Turquoiseine just out of the box. Hello. There's three baby Turquoiseines up in the nest box. The first one is out. So I've tried these guys out here with watermelon before. They're not that interested, but seeing as everybody else has had a piece, Straubs loves the seeds. Who wants watermelon? Not the right time of the day, is it? 
put it on here, then everyone can get to it. Okay. Oh, there's the baby flying. Woo! 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 Plonk. It is a male. How you doing? So Indy will be out here probably in about two weeks. Just get him used to everything. Try and get him a bit more tame. Make sure he hasn't got any bugs or anything. And then he'll be out here. What do you reckon, Swins? It's quite noisy. He's noisier than everybody else out here. If you think cockatiels are noisy, every other parrot just about is noisier. <laughs> With the exception of little turquoises, of course. Just so quiet and sweet. You can eat it. Go on. Jump up. Come on. So bird watching in slow motion, Swinny. You gonna do anything to it? It's not gonna move. You don't need to pounce. As usual, watermelon, roaring success. See you all on the next one. Stay safe, look after each other. It's crazy times at the moment. Yay! A tentative pink. Good girl, that's it. Yeah, get into it. Yay. Yummy, eh?